Hello Cancer, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on for you in love, who you might be dealing with, and what do you need to know about where it is all headed next. Uh, I want to just apologize in advance in case my dog Henry decides to bark. I have the neighborhood kitty on the porch and he's all stranger danger right now. So just in case he decides to participate in this reading for cancer. What messages, what guidance do we have for cancer at this time, spirit? A fool. guidance what messages for cancer one more and the magician wow the fool and the magician what do we need to know for cancer regarding love or what's going on for cancer spirit what's going on for cancer strength leo energy what's going on okay Okay, I was told to wait for the second card. So, Knight of Wands and Strength. These are like, in my opinion, two opposite energies. The Knight of Wands is the go-getter, the one that kind of takes charge and like does things impulsively. Um, they act very quickly and passionately without thinking much about it. And Strength is about being very calm, centered, having control over something without using force. It's also about kind of going with the flow and not forcing things. The Knight of Wands is the complete opposite. But this could also mean that someone is feeling very brave right now um, to go after what they want. So let's get one more card. Spirit, tell me about the Strength card with the Knight of Wands. What do we need to know? For cancer. What do we need to know? For cancer. Two of swords. Yeah. So I feel like someone's a bit conflicted maybe about how to approach something. Do I do it myself or do I wait and use a different approach? Wait to see what happens. Um, be more patient, more guarded. I feel like someone doesn't know this could be you or this person that you're dealing with, like how to how to do this. Um, I think it's because someone really wants this four of wands, stability, happy home, happy life, marriage, um, harmony. So I think that this is someone that maybe there are two ways to go about something and they just don't know what would be the best way. What else do we need to know for cancer? What do we need to know for cancer spirit? What's the overall energy for cancer in love? Overall energy for cancer in love. Paralyzing fear. Fear is holding you back. Yeah. I feel like someone's conflicted due to fear. I feel like that's the main issue here when it comes to love. This could be you, Cancer. This could be the other person. Can I get one more? What do we need to know? Past life. You've had a connection with this person in the past and looking inward. Take some time to look inward and figure out your next steps. Yeah. So I feel like this is going well together so far because I think that this is someone, possibly someone from your past or this is concerning some sort of past life connection or someone from the past that you know. And I think that you're thinking about what to do, but fear is holding you back. And if that's not you, Cancer, flip it for the other person. But love letter is at the bottom of the deck. So this could be about communicating. Should I be the one that sends the message or should I wait for the message? Um, if we do talk the next time around we talk, should I bring something up or should I stay quiet? I feel like there's a bit of an inner conflict that someone's feeling here. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know for cancer? What's the overall energy for cancer? What's the overall energy for cancer? Magic carpet. Carpet. I can't talk. 
speed action movement. So this is about someone taking action, doing things quickly, very Knight of Wands energy there. Something happening quickly. What else do we need to know for Cancer? What else do we need to know for Cancer? Poisoned apple, warnings, deception, red flags. Yeah, it's almost like someone's hesitating. Hmm, bottom of the deck is carriage, arrival, movement, travel. Okay, so there could be something here regarding movement because it showed up twice. Someone taking action quickly, someone arriving somewhere, literally driving to someone's house. Um, but it's almost like there's a there's something off there. Um, it, could, it could be that their fear is making them think of the worst possible outcome. It could be that maybe they don't know all of the facts. So for example, um, this could be somebody that's like, I'm going to show up to Cancer's house, but they don't know that you have a visitor. Or they don't know that maybe you're not available or something. It's almost like there's something that they're, this whoever's thinking about making a move, whether that's you or this other person, there's like someone like doubt in the back of someone's mind. Let's get some more insight here. Tell me about what's happened in the recent past. What's been happening in the recent past? for cancer. What's been happening in the recent past? Three of Wands, waiting. So I feel like you you have been waiting for something to happen. And maybe you, you've gotten tired of waiting, cancer, or are wondering, like, should I be the one that makes something happen? Wow, there's the tower. Hmm. You could be waiting for a specific tower, something unexpected to happen. I'm almost getting here that it could have been you that would surprise someone else. And you were just waiting for the right time. Maybe while you were waiting for something to happen, a tower happened to disrupt things or delay things. Hmm. Nine of Pentacles came out. Nine of Pentacles is very independent, free, unattached. I feel like you've been single and waiting for something. Um, I don't know if this tower already happened or if this is what you've been waiting for. What's the challenge here for Cancer? Let me know in the comments. Were you waiting for something to happen and instead you got a tower? Or are you planning to surprise someone or do something unexpected yourself? What's been the challenge for Cancer when it comes to love? The sun. I feel like you haven't been very happy, Cancer. I'm also um, getting the message that some of you have been in the dark about something. Like you just don't know about someone's intentions, someone's actions, or what's really going on. What's been the challenge? Like the, the opposite of the sun is the moon. Yeah, I feel like you have someone in mind and it hasn't happened. It could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could be that that person is already providing for others or responsible for others or busy with business or busy with some sort of project. Yeah, there's a seven of cups. I feel like this is challenged. A two of cups connection is challenged. Your happiness is challenged, right? Like this is a challenge position. So this isn't happening or there's something that's blocking this for you the emperor after that aries energy i think you're wondering about someone's next moves and since they're not making a move you're like should i be the one that does something then because i don't want to wait anymore should i take matters into my own hands but then what if it doesn't work out right that's when the doubt starts creeping in what if it doesn't work out what if that's the wrong decision Tell me more about this person that Cancer is, has, or will be dealing with spirit. What do we need to know about this other individual? What do we need to know about this other individual? Oh my God, that's a ton. Page of Swords, Ace of Cups, Page of Pentacles, and the Chariot. Wow, Cancer energy, there you are. 
I feel like this person is the one that's thinking about making a move and communicating, Page of Swords and the Chariot, telling you that they care about you, making you an offer, Page of Pentacles. I feel like they're the ones that are possibly debating with themselves. Should I be the one that makes the move? Should I be the one, you know, that makes this happen? What is in this person's heart space? What are they thinking, feeling when it comes to cancer? What are they thinking, feeling when it comes to cancer? Waiting around? <laughs> There's this energy of waiting. This person's waiting, even though what they want to do is make a move. What else? What else do we need to know about what this person's thinking or feeling? when it comes to Cancer. And by the way, Cancer, these are my own Oracle decks. Our connection is divinely guided. I sell them on Etsy, so if you're interested in any of them, they're linked in the description box. And bottom of the deck, the grass was not greener on the other side. So maybe this person was busy somewhere else and they realized that where they were, that's there's nothing really that's coming out of that. Cancer is my divine partner. But I, at the same time, they're waiting around for a reason. And that reason will be different for all of you. Some of you might not be single. Or this person could be waiting for you to be single. Or they're not single. Or you live far apart because there's this energy of movement, like travel. We had like three cards about traveling to another person. It could be long distance. There's that paralyzing fear at the bottom of the deck, the Nine of Swords. I feel like this person is very scared, even though their intention is to make a move and to talk to you, Page of Swords. They might already be keeping an eye on you, watching you from afar. Where is all of this headed next? What can Cancer expect next? What can Cancer expect next, Spirit, when it comes to this person, this connection? Seven of Wands, some sort of block. Someone, this list could be somebody fighting, though, fighting for what they want. Let's see. Can I get one more? What can Cancer expect next? Where is this headed? in the near future for Cancer. Five of Pentacles. Temperance at the bottom of the deck. Sagittarius energy. Cancer, I feel like there's an obstacle the tarot cannot tell me the details about. There's something else here. Poisoned apple that did come out. Warnings, deception, red flags. Something is off here, even though I don't see it. I mean, the tower is kind of alarming, but I think something's going to take more time, but there's a reason for that. I'm hearing the eye rolls now, but this is the message. Temperance is about something taking some time, patience, moderation, things not happening quickly. Could be a financial block as well. <clears throat> Someone could be going through some sort of difficulty or struggle with the Five of Pentacles and wants to take, um, have courage, fight back, face the, the obstacle themselves. Because the Seven of Wands is about standing firm, fighting back, deflecting, defending, resisting. So whatever challenge this Five of Pentacles represents, I feel like someone's willing to fight against that. But this Paralyzing Fear card tells me it's not so simple. It's not just about courage. There's something to be afraid of. I don't know. I'm, it's like I'm getting this. Um, I'm literally seeing a closed door. So it's like Spirit is telling me that I, I just don't know. Unless I was in that room, I wouldn't know. So I feel like it's something very specific for all of you. Please ignore my dogs in the background. 
Um, but I feel like this person, you know, it's like they're waiting around. Once again, this person's waiting around for a reason because their intention is very clear. Their intention is very positive, very optimistic, very clear energy right there. Um, and they understand that this is a special connection. Two of cups that show up, so this, this could be a soulmate connection, past life connection, but something is holding this person back. This two of swords. Like I literally think their hands are tied. So I'm gonna take this to the extended and dig deep to find out what's going on here. What's the chat? What's the block? What's this block about that's coming? I feel like that needs to be resolved in order for you and this person to be together. Um, I'm gonna get some insight on that, ask Spirit for some advice for specifically that issue. And then we'll look at this person's um, next moves towards you. What do we need to know? Any hidden factors, anything that, you know, what's really going on here? I just wanna dig deep there. And then I'm also gonna pull a couple more uh, Oracle cards as well to get this person's energy a little bit clearer. So if you wanna know more, um, the extendeds are a little more affordable now because I'm doing them um, a little shorter. Still the same amount of information, but they're just more affordable for you guys. So check that out if you'd like to get more insight here. Otherwise, I'll leave it there. Cancer, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button before you leave. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And I'll see you on another video very soon. Take care.